This is the five tech things you should know about episode number 45 for July 2nd, 2010. Happy Independence Day, folks. Brought to you by Mosey.com. Hey, everybody. Jeffrey Powers here. TV Azine in association with Geek Azine. 608 205 4378 is the phone number. Geekazine at gmail.com is the email address. Welcome back down to the Geek Bar. It's been a couple weeks since I've been down here. Of course, we went to Vegas. A lot of fun. Going to do a lot more with the Geek Bar, a lot of more reviews. we got this thing right here. It is a iPhone charger, which I just received in the mail while I was still in Vegas. So I'm going to be playing with this. It's a solar iPhone charger. We've got a few different chargers in which I will be showing you what type of chargers are out there and what cool features they have. So watch out for that review. Watch out for a lot of other cool videos that are coming out with Geekazine. All right, this show is impossible if it wasn't for the folks over at Mosey and Mosey Home Unlimited. Remember that code GEEK, G-E-E-K, I'm going to talk about it in a second here. But back up your files, back up all your pictures, especially if you have something like a laptop. You're very portable with your pictures, your documents, your, your videos, your audio. You want to save all that. That's where Mosey Home Unlimited comes in. You have the ability to back up on-site. You'll have the ability to back up off-site. Uh, all you have to do is connect it up to the Internet, and it'll start uploading your pictures, your documents, in safe, secure formats up to their servers. So if something happens to your computer, your hard drive, at least you've got a backup copy. You've got your pictures online. You've got your audio, your video online. You need to save that. $4.95 a month. It's the price of a hard drive per year. You use that code GEEK, you get 10% off that already low price over at mosey.com. So back up now, back up often, back up off-site with mosey.com. Bring out your dad. Ladies and gentlemen, the kin. We talked about this six weeks ago. The kin was coming out now. Kin's gone. Somebody contact the next to kin, please. Oh, well, Microsoft put out this phone called Microsoft Kin. It was supposed to be a smartphone for the rest of us, but it didn't work out. I think the biggest problem was, even though it was $49 for the Kin 1, the pricing plans were still a little bit too high for the average consumer. So a lot of other things, Microsoft wants to focus on the Windows Mobile 7 phone, which I think it's a great idea. I don't know why they even bothered with this one. I always thought that somebody like Jitterbug or something like that would have picked this up. You would have seen a video with Steve Everett Coop running around going, I use one at home, and then an old lady lying on the ground going, I've fallen, but at least I can play Farmville. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we move from one dead thing to the next kind of dead thing, from one kin to one Kindle. Of course, Amazon has been doing everything that it can to keep the Kindle alive. They've increased the, the revenues for the people that write books. You can now get double the revenues where you were making $3 before on a book. Now you're making $6 on a book. They just released the Kindle for the Android operating system, and they're doing a lot more over at Kindle. They just announced a whole bunch of stuff today too. So it's, it's amazing what's out there for Kindle. Will that be your choice? Will you decide for a Kindle? Will you decide for something like an iPad? I've talked to a few people that have, have read books off of the iPad and they kind of don't like it. They like the whole monochrome look to it. So there's still a niche for those for, uh, for a monochrome display and that's where Kindle comes out. There are some really cool netbook and tablets coming out too. I saw one that had dual screens. It was technically a netbook, but the keyboard was a screen, and you could open it up and it could be an e-reader. I read a few books on my iPhone. I was, I was okay impressed with it. It's nice to be on a plane. I don't see myself in an iPad simply because it doesn't have a USB port. I don't think I'm going to have myself a Kindle either because it needs a little bit more functionality. But would you use a Kindle or would you use an iPad or another device? Let me know. Well, Hulu has uh, now gotten their idea for Hulu Plus, $9.95, and you'll be able to watch seasons of shows as opposed to, like, the last three episodes trying to race to, to watch all that. They'll have extra content on there, too. Pretty cool deal if you, if you read through all the fine print. But I started kind of wondering, you know, I have a Netflix account for $14.95. Do I want a Hulu account for $9.95? What are the advantages? What are the disadvantages? Well, the biggest advantage for Hulu Plus is the fact that they're coming straight, the shows are coming straight from NBC, straight from Fox. 24 hours later, they're up on there. As opposed to Netflix, you've got to wait till the end of the season and then a month or two before you can even get the discs. 
let alone on demand, it's not going to happen for a while. Movies, especially, there's a 60 to 90 day wait on certain movies to actually go into an on demand or a watch instantly type situation. So Netflix is going to be behind this eight ball as Hulu starts to really ramp up. I have a feeling that Netflix is going to start to say in movie companies, hey, we're going to need to do a lot more on demand to make this happen, to make us beat out things like Hulu Plus. Of course, the movie companies won't care. They won't care which one they'll get their money for. But the real question is, will you be getting Hulu Plus, will you be getting Netflix, or will you have both? Because Hulu Plus will also have movies too. It's a big toss-up. I have a feeling the blockbuster Netflix will turn into Hulu Netflix in the next year. All right, we're talking about Amazon a couple times today because Amazon bought a company called Woot. If you don't know what Woot is, Woot was a company that started out, all they did was they sold overstock items. Somebody came to them and said, hey, we have 3,000 widgets we need to get rid of. Well, Woot would put it into a special deal. they go, go up on Twitter and let everybody know of this special deal, and people would flock like crazy. They used Twitter in their business model, and they made it a success. Woot.com was bought out by Amazon yesterday for $110 million, a great acquisition for Amazon. They've been gobbling up stores like this. Uh, Zappos was another recent transaction about a year ago that they gobbled up. Amazon is really getting into the market, really working on the consumer level, and a lot of cool stuff. I'm glad that they got Woot. Hopefully the bargains will not change, and hopefully the prices for those bargains will not change as well. Woot, of course, helped Geekazine raised its level about a month ago when they prominently featured a device which I did a video for back at CES 2009. So congratulations to the folks over at Woot, Amazon.com, you've got a great website there. All right, you got your HDTV. We talked about it last two weeks ago, the, uh, the 156 inch TV from Panasonic. Well, now these things are changing again. There's a new standard out there. It's called HD Base T or a Basset, it's like a hound, I don't know, maybe some dog thing. Basically what it is, is an Ethernet cable to your TV, as opposed to the old-fashioned coaxial cable running your TV set. Now you'll have an Ethernet cable that'll run your TV set. So you'll be, I have a feeling you'll be able to hook it up to your router, you'll be able to use it just like you would your computer, and be able to connect to the Internet, be able to, to connect to the shows. HD Base T makes most sense because that is our standard, that is what we do, that is how we move from there. So I'm, it's pretty interesting. There's been a lot of companies that are starting to adopt it. Samsung, LG are the two front runners. There are about uh, a few others there. So we've got a lot of great advances in TV. But you just paid all that money for that big HD TV. Now you gotta go and buy another one. And that is the five tech things that you should know about. Thanks a lot for watching. My name is Jeffrey Powers, www.geekazine.com. Of course, you can also check us over at techpodcast.tv. The music is J Pimps of Joy Time. I don't talk about them too much. Joy Time Radio, great band. Go check them out. They're in the L.A. area right now, but they're traveling around the United States as we speak. Pimps of Joy Time, check it out. Thanks a lot for watching. My name is Jeffrey Powers. Until next week, you guys, take care. Thank you.